Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Cody Kavita. I'm an actress and a voiceover artist here in Los Angeles, California. And I also have five chronic illnesses, which I manage on a daily basis. Now, I am very excited. As you can see, I am more done up than I usually am. And um, guess who's here? Guess who's here? That's you, that's you, that's you. That's me. Ari's here, Hello. yay! <gasps> Ari has come down because she's going to help me film because we are going to an event. Um, at this point, you probably already know what the event is, but in case you don't, uh, Hamish, who is Hamish Steele, he's the writer of the Dead Endia comics that then led to Dead End, which I got to be a part of. He is re-releasing his books um, with a new publisher, and today is release day, so uh, we are all done up and ready to go. Uh, and we're going to go head over to Santa Monica, and um, I get to be part of his release event, so um, I thought I'd take you guys along today. So yeah, um, without further ado, grab yourself a snack or a coffee, and let's get into it. Like, so Barney just wanted a job, doesn't care, and Norma was like, I hate my job. And so, in, the, in the, one of the original drafts I did, I had Badia show up and say like, holy, Phoenix does this, we are, whatever, and it was kind of awkward. And there was this real, like, moment of like, oh my god, Norma's special interest should be following Phoenix. She should love following. And then instantly, you just like sneak a character into the first episode telling you everything you need to know about the world. And it, feel, it doesn't feel like, an info dump, because it's an actual info dump. Um, <laughs> and so, a lot of the changes didn't come from me being like, disregard the book, let's make something new. It came from just problem solving. And, you know, I wrote the books originally um, when I was sort of 20, and then I came to make the show when I was 30, and I was a better writer. And I was more open to collaborating with a whole room of writers. I wasn't going to tell them, like, stick to the webcomic I wrote when I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite episode? I would be someone who would say no because I love them all equally, but the musical episode is very special to me. I wish all of you the best, and so I just kind of want to know where do you guys go from here? Like, you guys got anything? Yeah. Um, I have things, but in the case. Not specific, just like, you know, you guys cool? <laughs> Thank you very much. All hail Gord. <laughs> Thank you. 
so it's a little bit later. It's um, actually a week later. It's been a very busy week um, between having acting stuff to do, also just life things to do, and I had a couple of flares this week. Um, so I spent most of yesterday just sleeping because I was very tired um, and I'm actually in the middle of working right now. But I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so, so much for coming to our event. I am still just like on cloud nine. I am so happy I got to meet so many of you and just blown away by the love and the support and the fact that some of you flew out to meet us. I just, that's still, wow. Like. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, after the signing event, Ari and I uh, just went and got food and then Ari had to go the next day. But um, I think she is coming back uh, pretty soon for a visit. So there'll probably be a video on that. But I do wanna say thank you so much, Ari, for filming for me. All that footage that you guys just saw, she filmed and um, she made sure to copy my filming style, which is just great. Thanks, sorry. <laughs> I just thought I would share some of the things that I was gifted um, because it just, that still is really cool um, and I really wanted to share with you guys. So um, the first item is from an artist that I have talked about many times on my channel and on my Instagram and that is Lazuli. Um, Lazuli came to this event. I was, n I did not know that Lazuli was gonna be there. Zach apparently knew, um, but they showed up and they put their artwork in front of us and they didn't say who they were. And I saw their art and I was like, hang on, what? And then they introduced themselves and I was like, what? This is wild. So um, we got to keep the artwork, but it is um, this gorgeous print of Norma. Absolutely, absolutely obsessed with it. Um, so yeah, I um, just wanna say thank you so much, Lazuli. Uh, I've already told you, but also for everybody else to know, I have this displayed on my desk because um, it's stunning. Let me see if I can do a close up. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna, there we go. Yeah, awesome. I love it. All the detail, even in the book and in the signature. That's so cool. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Lazuli. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I can't tell if I've already said this, but I will link their accounts below. The next items I really want to share are these adorable uh, Dead End Paranormal Park pins. These were gifted to me by a shop called uh, Insert Shop Name Here. Um, as you can see, it is a cute little Pugsley pin, and there's Tema Lucas kind of peeking out from behind there. Um, I believe this is acrylic. I'm gonna assume it's acrylic. Um, but of course you can message the shop owner and find out that way as well. Uh, but there's also this Phoenix, Pauline Phoenix pin, which is also equally stunning. Um, and one of my favorite details on these pins are the back. Look at that, a little heart. So cute, so, so cute. Um, so yeah, the shop owner of Insert Shop Name Here gifted this to us and I just, thank you. I'm obsessed with them. Just like the drawing with Lazuli and really anything I've been given uh, over these years with Dead End, I have it displayed on my desk. My desk is becoming a shrine to Dead End um, and I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Now the last item, I don't really think I was gifted this, but Zach swiped it for me. Um, it's a gourd bookmark. I'm obsessed. Thank you, Zach. Um, I think this was given out as um, like a bonus thing for people that pre-ordered. And then at the event, they had these as well. But um, Zach was able to snatch one for me because he knows my obsession with gourd, all hail gourd. Yes, yes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm very happy to have this and of course he is definitely displayed on my desk. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna leave this video here. It's a short one this week, like I said, between uh, having flares, being exhausted, in the middle of working, which I need to get back to working. Um, I am not gonna blabber on for too long, but I do want to say if you want to order Hamish's books, I will link them below or you can just pop over to Barnes & Noble and pick a copy up because they are available now, which is Oh, so exciting. Congrats again, Hamish. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to say thank you again to all of you that um, have supported me over the years or the show or really any of us. I really, um, it's very much appreciated whether I get to meet you guys in person or not. It, I hear it. I feel it. I see it. Thank you. Um, so yeah, if you like this video or you found it helpful, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.